Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon, good evening, and good morning to those on the other side of the globe. It is with great enthusiasm that I wish to share my perspectives on this subject matter of utmost importance for the future of our global economy. As we all reckon in this new era of high uncertainty, world economies are actively looking for sustainable solutions to socioeconomic challenges through the adoption of technologies across all spheres. In that pursuit for enhanced economic performance and excellence, Mauritius has relentlessly endeavored to embrace the latest technologies and their applications to the local context through diverse initiatives over past decades. These accomplishments have put our country on the world map of global innovation and technology and has made us a reference and a leading player in the world. With this in mind, we are constantly investing in new strategies to take the ICT sector to new heights. We are in fact standing at a time where we need the most creative out of the box thinkers, the most inventive agents for change, people with ambition, with big ideas to help us disrupt, transform and solve big challenges of our time. At the base of a solid digital ecosystem, a good connectivity, both local and international level. Operation of submarine cables, local fiber and wireless networks together with policymakers hold the potential to collaborate, to bring in affordable services and leave no region unserved. In addition, fiber connectivity across the island, fiber to the home has been deployed to every doorstep since 2017 and we have already reached 100% fiber coverage. As for connectivity, the figure for coverage stands at almost 100%. Ladies and gentlemen, in this connection, the Mauritius Emerging Technologies Council has been passed as a law in Mauritius in June. This legislation will be here as main function to address shortcomings in the legislation and to determine the role in the field capacity building. Exactly. Ladies and gentlemen, today's forum organized by ITU, the right platform, where we can join forces to address issues that come across our way in adoption of new and emerging technologies. Mauritius is fully committed to the activities of ITU, aiming for the betterment of living conditions through far-fighted and coordinated initiatives. To conclude, this has motivated our government to bid for the membership of the ITU Council for the term 2023-2026. And we shall, of course, rely on the support of the friendly countries. I would like to thank the organizers for giving us this opportunity to bring our ideas together and make most of it. Thank you very much. <laughs>